What's up friends, foes, and subbies? I could not help myself. I had to come and talk about this because my brain will explode if I don't. I've been working on a video about the real nigga moment that Trashiana did the other day. Nature Boy put her on blast, made her confess to everything that she did when she was in Babylon and her relationship with Omek. She went in on Omek, she disrespected him, she slandered him down to I don't even know. But I will probably post that video later on tonight. I'm just taking a break right now so that I could get into it even more so. But listen, I feel like at this point, Nature Boy is trolling us. He's doing what he's doing to get a rise out of everybody that's viewing. All right. So he went from being vegan and being so disrespectful to anybody that ate meat. Okay. To now he's saying that it's part of his B6 diet. He now is incorporating chicken and fish in his diet. And did I not say that the other day? They probably eating chicken. He probably already started eating chicken and now that he's changed his life and he's a family man and he's doing all these wonderful things and everything's about peace, bull fucking shit. Now he wants to eat meat and fish. It makes absolutely no sense and to anybody that is a real vegan and to anybody that was following carbonation and their their so-called rules now you're no longer supposed to be polygamous so all your followers that have started to you know do all the things that you say that they should do now have to do the opposite of what you told them to do last week all because you got Eliana back what type of shit is that? It makes absolutely no sense. It's like you guys are playing a game. You're literally playing a game with all these people. And for what? Live your life without turning on a damn camera. Don't nobody needs to see this bullshit. Because at this point, it's just, it's, it's whack. It's like, I don't even watch Love and Hip Hop anymore. But when it first came out, I couldn't miss one episode. I had to keep watching. Up until probably like two years ago, I stopped watching it because... It's just dumb now. It's not entertaining. It's just, it gets faker as it goes. When it first started, it seemed pretty much, you know, possibly real, you know. But now it's just too much. You're getting so much attention from this that now you are trolling us, Nature Boy and Eliana. And what you are doing to the other members <laughs> is ridiculous. You're constantly downplaying the importance of the other wives that you let go you're making it seem as if you had no type of feeling for them maybe you don't because you are a narcissist narcissists don't feel for anybody right but the fact that you're putting aya on blast behind a camera making her sit next to her new husband that you keep passing her back to every time you don't want her and you're basically saying that she's infatuated with you she's in love with you well she's not in love with you she just likes you a lot how could she just like you a lot when you're always breaking up her? Listen, I can't even say you have sex with them like regular sex because it seems like all you like to do is the back door. Hence the reason why you say you'll never cheat on Eliana with another woman because you're doing it with the men. Okay. And most of the men that you have over there are bisexual, period, plainly. And the new one that you have coming for Zion aka Ra, he's gay, okay? I have that gaydar. No offense to anybody that is, but I have it because I've, I've been in the life I know, okay? Ra's new husband is either down low or he's bisexual, period. He got them DSLs. He has them DSLs. And don't let me come on here with a video to just show you what this man looks like. I will zoom in on them DSL so you can see for yourself. And his mannerisms are very feminine. All these women that come to Carbonation usually want Chief, Nature Boy, because he is the alpha. He's the, the man that all these women are like yearning for, right? He has the power. But all the dudes that you have them going to are beta males, like you say. They seem to be feminine. According to Nature Boy, you be sitting there trying to make it seem like they're your equal, but you, you trash them. 
You have a way of trashing people while giving them a compliment. That's something that narcs do all the time. You literally trashed your wives the other day when you went live with Eliana and you said, and you compared having quality over quantity and you compared your other wives to Walmart, t-shirts at Walmart and Eliana being a Gucci t-shirt, something like that, one name brand t-shirt. How do you think they feel? They're human. Yeah, they are brainwashed, but they still feel. You're the one that's the narcissist that are taking advantage of these weak-minded people. And I'm not gonna sit here and be judgmental because yes, I once was brainwashed, okay? But to see it going down and to see how you're disrespecting these people, I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. I was like, no. I gotta make a video just to voice how I feel. I know it's not gonna make a difference, but for anybody that is feeling the same way that don't make videos, at least you could come here under the comments and talk to other people, talk to me. Um, we could share our opinions together because at this point, I feel like canceling carbonation. We don't need to watch them anymore. Well, I kinda do wanna watch, but how we're gonna do it or how we should do it is fine a set of people that are willing to stream their lives live so that we could talk about it on our own platforms or on their platforms versus supporting Nature Boy by watching under his. You understand? And, um, oh my goodness. Aside from him talking about um, incorporating meat and fish into the diet, he was making fun of fat people. He says, if you're fat, stick with the original V6 diet. He, oh my God, he sounds so ignorant. Then he had the nerve to say that there are a bunch of chiefs in Africa that offered him land. They want to give him land and villages just because. That shit is mad weird. Like, this is like, these are like children telling story time, like fake stories or whatever. Eliana and Nature Boy are one and the same. Like I said before, they're very, uh, I don't even have a word to be honest with you, but my frustrations led me to make this video just because I needed to sound off. And again, like I said, I am working on a video. Please, you guys watch it when I upload it because it'll give you some insight, even if you don't know who Nature Boy and Eliana are. It'll give you some insight onto what types of people they are and it will display what narcissism looks like. Clear, okay? And um, another thing, I cannot, I cannot. I don't understand why I'm allowing this to piss me off, but I just don't want anybody to fall for the bullshit. I just don't. These people are evil. She is a Jezebel, straight up. Straight up Jezebel. And he's Satan himself, calling himself God. You guys are following every single thing that he says when he decides that he wants to, you know what? Next week he'll probably say he wants to get back to polygamy and then you guys are gonna say, okay, yeah, let's be polygamous now. And if that's the case, you all are mentally ill that follow Nature Boy and are telling us that we're crazy for feeling the way that we feel. Period. I was going to say something else, but I honestly can't even think right now. Um, but I will be watching for all this mess because at the same time, it is kind of entertaining. It's better than watching Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> Love and Flip Flops is the new thing. And season four... It's probably going to be okay, but I think the more that he keeps doing this mess, we're just going to like tune out because we're grown, we're adults, we have better things to be doing. And watching Nature Boy is basically losing brain cells. I'm almost ashamed to say it, but yeah, I like watching. I want to keep my brain cells, but up until I think I'm going to give it one more season. After that, I'm done. I cannot. But you guys, pay attention to everything that they say. I will come back to debunk all the bullshit. When I say debunk, for instance, Eliana claimed that Omeg didn't have a good size, you know, member. 
she literally went on camera literally in that moment in that moment she displayed a vagina and she said that chief filled her up but omek didn't there was space in between her and omek right but she did it anyway she had infection she did it anyway let me tell you something you got that yeast infection probably because you were having sex with other people and you either got your STD um, results and you had something that gave you antibiotics and you got the yeast infection. You're not going to get a yeast infection from having sex. You're going to get the yeast infection from the antibiotics. And if you do get an infection from sex, it's probably bacterial vaginosis, which can sometimes be painful where you get little cramps and stuff but not on the first day that you do it with the man you gonna feel that you was probably doing somebody else and then you did omeg which caused the imbalance and at the same time you were sleeping with nature boy for the past two years you guys keep saying you were together for three you guys were not okay let's get this straight you were not together for three years and you grown ass mother act like three years is such a long time to be in a relationship oh my gosh We've been together for three years, three whole years. Oh, we're going on four years. So, that ain't nothing. <laughs> How old are you to be, like, praising the fact that you've been together for three years? It's not that serious. That's like dating somebody for a month. Anywho, like I was saying, she compared the two members and she downplayed Omek's size. But, in fact, there was a point where Nature Boy was kind of clowning Caliber for not having a big member because Eferu claimed that she didn't feel him when they were engaging in activity. And he said that he didn't feel Eferu. So they're both dissing each other, husband and wife. Wife is saying she can't feel him. He's saying he can't feel her. So Nature Boy is like, I'll try her. And he's like, oh, she was tight. She was tight. You're basically dissing Caliber by confirming that maybe there's something wrong with him. So anyway, in that conversation, they I think this was before Eferu got with Nature Boy. They were talking about Caliber's member. And Nature Boy asked Eliana, have you ever been with a man where you couldn't feel him? And Eliana said, no. So let's think here. Eliana was with Omek. She left Omek and went to Nature Boy. Nature Boy sent her back to Omek, which she slept with again, and then he took her back. Now, when Nature Boy asked Eliana, have you ever been with somebody who you didn't feel? Why wouldn't she have said, yeah, then? Why didn't she say, yeah, then? 